What's up guys, Dave here. Welcome back for the next episode of the Ambassador series. This time I'll be running you through how to add someone to your family and how to restrict their access. So the first thing we need to do is make our way to the settings on the left hand side menu. Go to all settings. From there we then go to account followed by family. Now we just need to tell it that we want to add a new family member. Quickly followed by letting it know that we want to add someone new. So from there we click add new and then simply enter our Microsoft account email. It would then ask us to put the name of the person in. Now I'm going to call mine account Baby Dave because I don't have another account to enter so <laughs> that would do. I can have a baby account. Ask your first surname as well. You don't really need that. Put any character in that you want apart from space. Slap in an awesome password. Hit that bad boy in again. Enter your date of birth. I'll just put whatever in now. Just make sure it's an account for an adolescent. So they're going to have to be under 16. That's about right. It will then ask you to put a phone number or an email address in for security reasons. You can show us whichever one you want. I'll go for email address. It will then ask if you want it to send you a load of stuff. Generally just say no. No one wants that spam. Make sure they're all done, then click accept. It will then ask you to choose an adult. Just go choose yourself. Definitely Luciano is the man. I'll give you some information about privacy. You can click for the statement or you can just click next. And I'll give you three options. Make it like magic, which means connect will just sign you in and you can do anything you want. Check that it's me, which means a passkey to do any purchases or things like that. And then lock it down, which is a good old safe option for everything. That's the one we'll go for. It's now give us our first generic game attack. So we'll just click next and choose our color. A bit of baby blue, that will do. It will now ask you to buy bold, but you should be able to share that from your other accounts. So we'll just hit no thank you. You can get that cheaper online anyway. Okay, so they're now part of our family, so we can go in now and start restricting their access. There's three different options we can restrict, so we'll go into each one and have a look. So we can allow them to see websites that we only want them to see, and we can make the communication basic, so they can just talk to friends and they can't get an adult site. Or we can just let them roam free. Then we can restrict exactly which games and movies, what they can watch, what ratings they are. We can go right down to children, right up to adults. So whichever you want to give them. You can. Lastly, we've got privacy on online. We can go in and change it so we can set it to, they can do adult, children, teens, and they give a, a, a general setting for each one that you want to do. You can go through and read all. Finally, we have the option to either remove them from the Xbox or from the family. We can do that at any point in these options. So I think I'll just leave it there guys, if you like the video give it a like, hit the subscribe and I'll see you next time.